Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to set up universal links for iOS devices using React Native CLI and React Navigation. First of all, uh, what is universal links? Universal links allows a screen in iOS apps to be shared similar to a web page. Let's say you have a mobile app. You have a home screen, product listing screen, and product detail screen. In that product detail screen, you have a share button. When a user click the share button, user should be able to share the link of that product detail screen via social media like WhatsApp, Messenger, or just copying the link text. The link should be same as a web page link, something like https slash slash yourdomain.com slash products slash something. When the receiver clicked that link, one of the following options should be happen. If the receiver didn't install our mobile app yet, the link opens our web page, not mobile app, but our web page via the uh, receiver's uh, browser. If the receiver has our app, the link will open the app and route exactly the specific screen specified in the link instead of the home screen. So, how to set up universal links? In five steps, you can see First one, we need to add Apple App Site Association file to our website. So, to use universal links, you need a website for your uh, mobile app. And this website should be using HTTPS. Example, HTTPS colon slash slash yourdomain.com Let's say this is our website. For this website, we need to create a Apple App Site Association file. It's just a file, and this file uh, should not have any extension like .json or .js something. No, just Apple App Site Association. Inside the file, uh, we need to we need to write something like this JSON-like objects. You can copy this object and paste it, and you need to replace this uh, team ID with your team ID and after that uh, your bundle identifier and the next one Pat's uh, key this key uh, should be used for linking to your app for example in this uh, in this example I have slash product slash and something else what what this is mean this means if the link is something like https slash slash yourdomain.com slash products and slash uh, something product ID maybe in this format uh, this link will route to our application not website if the receiver uh, has our mobile app in uh, in the device so you need to configure this part it depends on your projects. In my example, I will I will use universal links for my domain slash product slash product ID. And when you create this object, this object should be reachable, should be accessible uh, following uh, URL format. HTTPS yourdomain.com slash dot well known slash Apple App Site Association. So how to do that? It depends on your website. It depends on what technologies you use in your uh, website. In my case, I have a Next.js website and inside my public folder, I created another folder name that well known and put the file inside of that folder. So my, my settings inside of that folder and this folder inside of public folder and that's it for Next.js it, uh, it may be different for pure react or uh, in other frameworks 
and after that you can check whether your uh, setup is correct or not using this URL branch.io resources and a SA validator. Now we need to activate associated domains in our Apple developer account. For to do that you can pause the video here and follow the step and I will also show you with uh, screenshots. You can see certificates, identifiers and profile section and in this section here you need to click here identifiers and you will see this page in this page you will see your mobile app here and your mobile app uh, bundle identifier here click the uh, mobile app name and you will see this page in this page in this uh, table you can see associated domains you need to check this checkbox and then you need to save and now uh, you set up your uh, activation of your associated domain step 3 we need to add associated domain your domain to your uh, project within Xcode how to do that we need to open the Xcode open Xcode uh, I click my project and sign in and capabilities to stop you can see associated domains here if you don't see this section you can click the plus capability button and you can add associated domains and uh, this section will show up in this section you need to click the plus button and there will be an input area something like this and you need to write app links column your uh, domain name just like in this example app links column your domain and that's it you now you add associated domains uh, to your project and step four we need to add some codes we need to copy and paste some codes to our app delegate and then file where to find the codes in a react native uh, documentation so I open React Native and search linking. This is the page in a React Native documentation. Enable link, deep links for iOS. So we need to copy this code and also this code because we will using uh, we will be using universal links so this one and this one where to put this code we need to go to our project in iOS folder and I think in mobile app here app delegate and m5 or just search for it App delegate and then file. This is the file. We need to paste the code here. So I'm copying, pasting here, and the other one. Pasting here and I need to move this line, import line to this place there. And save and now step 5 we need to create a linking object and pass as a prop to your uh, navigation container component so how to do that? In our example project, FTSX file, I created a simple uh, navigation stack here just for to show you how to in a real example. This is my app component, my main uh, component. 
here is my navigation container inside of my navigation container I have top navigation here this is the top navigation so inside of top navigation I have two more stack product stack and profile stack and inside of these stacks there are some pages some screens to root so in my uh, profile stack I have profile screen and in my uh, product stack this is a native stack navigation navigator and here I have product listing screen and product detail screen so in my example I need to I need to reach this product detail screen uh, and pass the props coming from the universal link so how to do that I will use react navigation you can also use uh, react native uh, linking component linking from react native but I will use react navigation why because uh, using react navigations linking objects uh, simpler so how to do that let's see uh, react na navigation documentation React navigation.org read docs uh, sidebar we have guides guides we have configuring links here react navigation explains how to uh, set up configuring uh, a linking object this is an example we need to create a linking object and inside of this object we have prefixes and config objects and this linking object should be passed as a pro to our navigation container so let's do that it's back to our project here is my navigation container we'll create a linking object here and I will pass this linking object our navigation container so in this linking object the first uh, key is prefixes it's mean uh, what domain or what uh, deep link uh, schema you will use to match uh, to your um, linking setup so in my in my case I will use my domain this is domain uh, remember in our Apple site association file we set up the uh, universal link just for HTTPS your domain dot com slash product slash something so this is not enough we need to configure um, that uh, product slash something section to uh, set up um, which which screen we need to root that uh, URL. So in my case, this this screen product detail screen need to uh, match the URL. How to do that? In navigation container, my first chart is uh, top navigation. In top navigation, I have two screen, two stack, and I need this stack because product detail inside of this stack. Of the right screens this inside of screens I will write, uh, I will, uh, write product stack and product stack this is not enough because product stack is a stack navigator and inside of product stack we have product listing screen and product detail screen more than one screen so we need to specify product detail screen inside of product stack product detail this should be screen name product step P is capitalized just just like here should be match with here and product detail match with here and product detail screen need to match uh, products slash 
ID, I will say ID. Now, this is the setup. This is the setup for my example, this example. Your navigation uh, structure uh, may be different and you can, you can configure for your uh, navigation. In my case, what, uh, what did I say to our app? If uh, some some link some uh, URL will be clicked on the device iOS device, if the links start with this and continue with products and slash something, the, uh, the device open our mobile app and using this linking configuration, it will open product detail screen not our home screen as usual product detail screen and product detail screen gets the id from the uh, from the uh, as a root par uh, root params so uh, for example if your product detail screen you can get the id this id uh, like cons id uh, root something root params dot id something like that and you can uh, fetch uh, the fetch the data for this product ID and you can show uh, on the screen and that's it this is the configuration and it should work for uh, one more thing you need to reboot um, you need to delete your application and uh, install it again to to uh, make this work because uh, Apple app site association file uh, will be load when your app first time installed.